Hey everybody, Kevin here for CrackBerry.com. I am on location in Waterloo. Uh, you can see the room full of people here. We are checking out the newly announced devices. We've got the old 9790, and we've got the new Curve 9380. I call it the Curve Touch, but I don't think that's the official name. John, you're going to help us here walk through the new 9790. John's on the product marketing team for the newest Bolt. And you can see here I've got it compared to the uh, to the 9900. It's, I guess, Big Brother, maybe we could call it? That's the, right. Yeah, I think uh, research told us, you know, um, half of the segment prefers a larger form factor. The other half likes a smaller, more compact one. So we're catering to both segments. And this is sort of a nice, I guess you'd say, evolution of the 9700 and 9780 at the same time. Exactly. But very different, too. I mean, you can see looking around the device quickly you know different buttons across the front so it's uh, I don't have a 9780 on me but you can see it's gone to sort of a, a raised button they're very nice they're quite flush so for anybody who's worried they kind of stick out a lot they don't uh, really nice to hit the buttons on there uh, looking at even things like the port placement we don't have the USB on the side it's actually moved to the bottom uh, around the back battery door different design again it always seems a little different with every phone it clips on and off very nicely 1230 milliamp battery that is in the other BlackBerry 7 devices like the 9900 and the, uh, the torches. Micro SD card slotted up at the top there. Camera, this one has autofocus. Okay. Here, what I'm going to do is hand the, the device off to you now. Give a little walk through. Sure. Thank you for the camera help there. So, uh, just walking through the, uh, the 9790, you can see it is a touch and type, so very similar to the 9900 in that respect and uh, in functionality. The only key difference is obviously the fact that uh, this is smaller. So let's take a look at uh, some, some of the, uh, the functionality of it. If we go into, uh, do we have to do I hope we do. So we can, you can see uh, it's very fluid, has the same sort of uh, same sort of movement and motion as a 9900. Very vibrant color. It's 480 by 360. Uh, so slightly uh, under the 9900, but given the smaller screen size, uh, it's basically imperceptible the difference. Uh, but it does a so same resolution side. as 9700, 9780, so with the touch screen now. That's correct, that's correct. And so uh, I think you pretty much nailed the head. This really is the evolution of the 97, uh, 9700. We've got the light up trackpad, which is very nice. People will be happy about that. That's right. And so it's very similar. It does have uh, some preloaded apps on it as well. But this device we really see as more of a, uh, a great crossover device. The, uh, the 9900 uh, is firmly positioned more as a, as a uh, enterprise or a professional device. This has more of a crossover um, uh, proposition, so it seamlessly transitions from workplace to a night of the town. And because of the small form uh, factor, we think it would make it more and feel more to uh, the female uh, consumer as well. Right. So that's another, uh, another opportunity for us. I could see Miss Crackberry maybe preferring this one over her 9900, yeah, actually. Definitely, so. definitely, that's the case. Now, under the hood, it's not the Qualcomm chipset that's in the 9900. This is Marvell. That's right, it's Marvell 1 gig. Uh, it has 768 uh, RAM and uh, 8 gig uh, onboard memory as well. Uh, and so upgraded to 32 gig. And all the same sensors. It has a digital compass. It has. It has everything that 9900 has. Yeah. Okay, got it. So yeah. Wikitude, augmented reality, and all that. You can play with all those apps. That's right. That's right. NFC also. Yes, it does. Can we take a look at it under the battery door just to see the uh, the implementation? It looked pretty cool. Yep. So that's there. You can see how that looks. Very clever design. I think everybody's sort of impressed how Rims tackled that issue of getting yeah. antennas in there. Yeah, yeah, it's been a pretty good, uh, pretty good story for us. There we go. And again, carriers will set pricing, but this is really positioned as sort of a, a entry level bold, so you can. Right, and that that is really uh, how we see it. And sold is definitely our aspirational sub brand. We set, we set the bar high with the 900. This now comes in slotted underneath that. Uh, we hope the uh, carriers follow suit with that, and we think it'll be a great entry point to the bold sub brand. Sub -brand. I just want to finish up with again nice little look here comparing sort of the two devices side by side so a, a, quite a different footprint if you really think about it I mean it's uh, it's funny how you forget sort of how big the 9900 is once you use it and then this is a really compact device in 9790 our competitive intelligence folks tell us that um, the uh, 9790 is, is the most compact in volume of all uh, touch plus type devices in the world so. I don't doubt that. It's very. Uh, there might be some Palm Pixie stuff in there, but I don't know if that counts anymore. <laughs> very cool. So that's it. The bold 9790.
if you want a compact bolt that doesn't really compromise on performance at all, plus autofocus on that camera, which the 9900 does not have. Uh, battery life, do you know if there's any sort of difference between the two? Have you guys noticed? Is this uh, uh, yes, comparable, a little better even? No, it's about the same. Um, I, I know even up until now, they're still continually working on uh, optimizing the battery, the battery performance with them with software bundles. So. Well, with, you know, just having a smaller display slightly... It should take less, yeah. So, okay, so it should maybe get better battery life if you have concerns of battery life on the 9900. Yep. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll have to put those head to head. That's a, That'll be an interesting test. Very cool. Blackberry DNA going strong. Nice update to the bold. And a nice, a nice pairing here, too. We actually have two sort of bolds in market current at the same time, both catering to a slightly different audience. Very cool. That's it. Kevin out. Thanks, John. All right, thanks.